All right, guys, I figured I'd give you a little tour of the watch room that I built in the dungeon here. It's like a eight by 10 room. Um, I'm still, it's always a work in progress, but you can see, you know, there you have, these are all empty boxes. Um, I just hold on to them for whatever reason. Uh, there's an assortment of knives there that Doug sent in that I'm still hoping to do some videos on. And of course, you can see there's my throne that was uh, purchased at Sam's Club and it's super comfortable and it works really good for doing some close-up work and uh, sitting for a while. Uh, also, I just hung this. I am going to frame that because it's super cool. It's like a little tapestry that Adam over at uh, 1010 Talk sent me. Uh, he gets all these really cool swag things when he goes to these events in New York. That's a 35th anniversary uh, G-Shock Square uh, tapestry thing. And I think it's super cool. So uh, there's the lights, guys, that I use. I know everyone seems to uh, enjoy the lighting I use. It's Limo Studio. It's super affordable right on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. I don't have a Amazon affiliate or anything like that. So um, here's the shelving unit and uh, top that I built. Well, I didn't build. I bought them they were raw and I finished them and sized it and everything like that there's the wall with the postcards and whatever miscellaneous stuff that you guys are used to seeing so off to my left I usually keep a notepad of what I'm doing you know my red pen the calipers of course my readers for when I'm doing mods or just doing some close examination there's a little thing I use to uh, hold some g-shocks um, this is my old I guess, I don't know, assortment thing. I used to house most of my items in, but now I have a different organization system. Any flat surface with me ends up collecting things, but, you know, like this drawer has a bunch of miscellaneous bracelets in it. Um, this one has some of the old tools, some current tools I use, but I've been slowly upgrading tools, and then there's, I don't know, just miscellaneous stuff. Not much in there. Uh, here's my main watch box that has the main stuff that I wear in a, semi-regular basis uh, of course there's all the postcards there's my Seiko monster framed poster there's a doxa blade this is another really cool tin that adam sent over i'm assuming he was giving it to me because i'm keeping it um what else we got and then this part over here of the desk you don't really get to see or i usually don't even utilize a ton because the lights the way I do the lights is I end up sitting right here and then I use this tripod, which again, I'll put a link to the tripod and the microphone and all that stuff in the description. And my video area is basically right here. And then I, I pull these lights in super close, like right here and right here, the lights are brought in really tight and I don't have a whole lot of elbow room. Um, so unfortunately, you know, a lot of this stuff on this end of the table over here doesn't really get used. That's where I keep the watch polygraph, the watch, the wolf winder um, that I don't use a ton. But occasionally if I'm not wearing a watch and I want to time it or something like that, I'll throw it on the winder and let it wind up really good. So over here we have that really cool smooth sweep Seiko wall clock, another uh, Seiko Prospects tapestry, which... I still I need to figure out a way to frame both those and hang them up officially. Uh, that was some swag that another, um, I think a guy overseas hooked me up with. So here's another box. This is the box that uh, Homer gifted me. This is full of um, some miscellaneous watches. Uh, you can see that's a 12 watch box and that's already full as well. So obviously I have a problem. I started putting some stickers on here. so. I guess it looks like I might end up stickering this shelving unit up. You can see there's a, a G-Shock notepad that Adam gifted me. Thanks, Adam. There's the uh, little container there. That's a little model of a CRX. I, that's I'm an old school Honda guy too. So some miscellaneous knives, some uh, paperwork I'm working on. Um, this is just one of those cheap uh, cube units. So this this cube here usually it, what the way I set it up is. Um, this is wa uh, watches or items to be videoed. Down here is uh, watches I need to ship out. 
Um, this has been deemed my uh, watches being being ready to be mod and also just mod parts. So like this container here houses a bunch of OEM Seiko dials and parts. This is shipping overflow. Uh, this is watches that are going to be for sale. Um, and then I think I might make this like a, uh, until I can display it, almost like a holding area for for uh, some, you know, watch swag stuff. There's another G-Shock uh, like backpack type thing and there's a Seiko uh, collapsible umbrella, pretty cool. And then here is my dry erase board that I just hung up recently. So you can see I'm trying to itemize or organize. And then I don't keep track of once I complete a task, I, I wipe it out and I don't, I don't like keep record of things I've done. So it's, and I've been doing this so long now that um, there's watches that I might uh, revisit and be like, oh yeah, I, I don't think I've ever looked at those. And you know, I look back a couple of years and I, and I already have done it. So anyway, that's just a quick tour of the room. Before I close out, I want to show you guys too. Um, a while ago, you guys remember I did a video uh, watch rambler on Instagram. He was looking for a an ideal strap choice for a hiking trip he's got going. And I gifted him the Erica's original. Well, he has since received it and he put it on this SKX and I think it looks great. He picked a really good color. You can see there that has a little dash of orange there, which will kind of tie in with the uh, the print on the dial of the SKX. So I think he's, there's a really good photo of it. So I think he's really happy with it. Um, and I'm glad that I was able to help him out with that. And who will take that on a hike. The other thing I did recently, I, I didn't really bring attention to it, but, and I'm not really looking for attention on it. What, what I'm more trying to let you guys know is in this watch community, if you are, a veteran or an OG or whatever you want to call it and you see someone new into the watch game and they either have some mishaps or struggles or something like that you know help them out just take it upon yourself to do something good for somebody else so this was Austin he's a fellow Michigander I seen him post up in one of the Facebook groups I think that uh, his Invicta something had failed on I think the strap came off and it basically destroy the watch well he, he's a young man and you know to have you know a nicer watch or an Invicta or anything like that that's you know that's kind of a big deal for him that's a that was his main one watch so I had an extra uh, G-Shock Square and you know young men are kind of rough on things that's just the way it is so I offered to send it to him he was grateful he said heck yeah that would be awesome so I sent it out to him and he sent me a picture so hopefully that G-Shock Square is holding up for him. He, I, I doubt he'll be able to destroy that. So anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching, and I will get some more watch videos up soon.